So in class it's going to be really useful if we can access our Raspberry Pi without a screen. So we're going to use something called a VNC server on our Raspberry Pi. Now the setup is quite complicated so I've, I've, I've made a video to help you through it. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to run apt get install type VNC, whoops, type VNC server. Now if I press enter this isn't going to work but I want to demonstrate it anyway. When I try and run some commands it won't work because I won't have permission. But at the moment I'm just a regular normal user on the Raspberry Pi. There's a special user account called uh, uh, called root. And if I type the word sudo before a command it will run that as root giving it maximum permissions on the Raspberry Pi. So what that command does is it uses apt get, it goes out looking for type VNC server, and if it finds it, it installs it. So this will take a few moments, so we'll just let it do its thing. Now that that's finished, we have to run the type VNC software in order to set up a password. So this says I need a password to require, it is required to access my desktop. So I'm going to give it a password. Now it's important that this password is, is simple and memorable. It doesn't matter about it being particularly secure. So can we all use the same password on our school Raspberry Pis of SVC-PI? That was all lowercase. That again, SVC-PI. I don't want to set a view-only password. It's not necessary. So that will go away and it will set up um, the server. Okay, so that's now running in the background and if I wanted to I could connect to my Raspberry Pi from another computer. For the time being though um, I'm going to just persist with this, continue, uh, this uh, configuration and make it so that it runs on boot, so automatically when the Raspberry Pi starts. So to do this I'm going to have to get a script for the Raspberry Pi from the internet. So I'm going to use this command wget which stands for webget, that's going to go onto the internet, download a file for me. So I type wget, now I've used a URL shortener to make this a little bit easier, so it's uh, uh, in front of you there, and I'm going to add minus a capital O, I'm going to type in VNC boot. Okay, so that's going to go to the internet, it's going to download that file, and I can check that it's there, so I can do ls, which stands for list, and I can see just here that VNC boot is in my directory. The different coloured files mean different things, um, we'll come on to a little bit of that in just a moment. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to move that file to a special location on the Pi uh, for configuration files. So we're going to use the um, sudo command and we're going to say that we want to copy this we want to copy VNC boot and we want to move it to a directory called etc init dot d so I want to move it to that directory press enter that's moved a copy of VNC boot into this new directory and just to be tidy I'm going to remove that file VNC boot. So if I just do a list here, look, we can see that VNC boot is here. If I type RM for remove and I type in VNC boot, do a listing, that's now gone. Okay, you don't have to do all the listing, but removing VNC boot from here is, is useful just to keep it tidy. Now, if we go into, so we're going to use cd, which stands for change directory. We're going to cd into, oops, there we go, into this directory init.d. If I type ls there, I can see lots of little green files. Now, all these little green files here, so dbus and cron and all these other things, these are all scripts which run at different points as the Raspberry Pi loads up. So to give you an example, whoops, to give you an example, um, this script sets up all the networking features. Without it, we couldn't connect to the Pi. 
um, the ALSA utils, that's a sound setup tool. If we look over here, we can see that VNC boot is here. But unlike the rest of them, it's not green. Now the green means that these files can be run as programs. If I just do a little bit more exploration here, if I type in ls and I just say I want a long listing, I've got all these different files here. And here's VNC boot, and there's some stuff over here. These little that marks here, these tell me what the file permissions are. I'm going to change those, and this is really important that I do so. I'm going to type in chmod 755, which just is setting the, the, the parameters over here of VNC boot. Now, this file is in a special location. If I press enter, ah, operation not permitted. What do I need to do? Um, oh, I remember I need to go sudo sudo, and that will let me do it. So you don't off, you don't need to use sudo all the time. Only use it in certain situations. Okay, so now if I do a little uh, long listing again, uh, I can now see that VNC boot is now green. Brilliant. And so we're almost there. The final step is to make it so that um, that actually now runs on boot. So we need to type in update rc.d. So this is going to update our, our uh, boot scripts. We're going to add VNC boot to our boot defaults. And I've got permissions nine again, so what do I need to do? Oh, that's right, I need to use sudo. And now that's working. Okay. Um, so now, the next time I reboot my Pi, VNC will be available and I should be able to connect to it. There is one final step we need to take to make it a bit easier. Uh, we'll do it in another video.